Let it bob out. Bobcast. Back at it again, baby. So yeah, so we have a vibe board right here. It's a, uh, it's the coolest thing for the new offices. It's like an electronic whiteboard, but it's called a vibe board. So when the YG, when Brian was like, yeah, let's make a podcast. I'm like, damn, you know, because I hear there's too much content in general. Like, that's why, like, you know, the it's too, like, I'm subscribed to too much. I heard the other day that there are 38 million YouTube channels. 38 million? That's 38 million black holes. <laughs> so, like, there's no, you know, there's the word podcast. I'm like, it's another fucking podcast. So I'm like, nah, this shit a vibecast. Oh, look, this is a vibecast. So this is a vibe, like, yeah. you know, I'm just trying to continue to be a vibe. I don't want to be nothing for the camera that I'm not. Word. So the only way to do that, my best way of securing that is to just be myself. So keep it 100, be you. It's a vibe. Rule and number one. Word. I wanted to kind of preface and introduce this concept called reflections and this story behind this um, reflectionary period that I'm trying to put together in the form of what so what you you know what's most comparable is like a mixtape because first off like I want to make the story cool and the entire time like music and hip hop and all my favorite songs were kind of like the serum to get me through the process so I want to stick to those um, and so I want to make the story kind of similar so in that way this 10 uh, video approximately series I'm going to try to format in like a mixtape where the concept is now I've been journaling for <clears throat> going on like since 2014 so you know eight plus years but like on the spiritual way like six years and every year I've written journal entries in the month of December and a lot of them were recap entries you know and recapping the year recapping the lessons um, recapping the commitments, recapping the, the mind state. Um, and now finally with five years of data, when I got to the sixth year, I've, I collected enough data to have enough, uh, like real scientific evidence of the fact that I was in a feedback loop and I was consistently doing to myself year after year, the same exact thing. And to a point it got actually like, it's like if you realize that someone you love is insane, when you get to look at their life from a whole outside view, you know, you start to feel bad. Like, imagine, you know, someone that's always ruining relationships, but it's them and they always making excuses, you know. So you see from above that really is you and your drinking habit, but they always making excuses. So that's kind of how I feel that this reflections, having all these journal entries over like probably 80 journal entries of December writings that have made me realize that I was the one that was insane. And I was, I witnessed my own insanity, which ultimately led to me embracing my ultimate divinity. And the reflections concept, if listened to in the form, in the, in the, um, in the, uh, in line, like with the way it's suggested, like tracks one through 10 in unison, then it'll bring you through a journey of someone that really went through a deep spiritual path and really was, you know, harder than anyone would suggest to be on anyone on themselves. And you could travel that journey with me and realize that, um, you know, I documented what we all feel all the time, which is the desire for more and then the feeling of less. And we all collectively feel this way because we've been caught up in the society that have made us feel this way. But what I've learned from really going deep with God this year is the lesson that I'm trying to, you know, relay and a shortcut to it is you are the blessing you are further than where you were and you are whole and you are enough and you are on your way and you are more prepared than you were previously and you are not behind you're actually ahead and you are my son and you are what you want to be you are these things right and it was a different it was a different vibe this journal, this recap for 2022. And that vibe made me realize, oh shit, something happened. Like something unlocked in my brain the way I was able to embrace my journey. <clears throat> and this year was the most difficult year of my entire life 
where I made the most seemingly embarrassing business move I've ever made in my life. And I went from being, you know, completely on top of the world to below, you know, the, the deepest low. And the fact that I was actually like proud of myself and all this shit made me realize like I kind of unlocked something. So I'm trying to tell this story of like, yo, look at me for the last six years, beat myself up. When, when I actually was doing so well, every year my company was growing leaps and bounds. Like I was achieving the unachievable and I still was hard as fuck on myself. But only until you see that will you believe it. That's why I want you to go through the reflections because it's screen shares and, and, and readings of like once someone always bashing themselves and then finally learning to love themselves. And now I feel like I've unlocked something else within me. And I hope that this reflections concept can do what it, the, it's intended to do, which is to hasten up and speeding up, you know, the creator's journey. Like you guys don't have to go through these years of feeling unwhole or on anything. Just accept who you are right now, which is everything you want to be. Like, you know, and and yeah, so that's what the reflections concept was about. Yeah. And this shit hit different. Intro, I like it. You know, like I'm inclined to just be gangsta, so let's just keep it funky and let's just go to the uh Yo, that's the intro of the mixtape right there. Yo, like the shit was alright. So let's shit. Yeah, I can't tell the the last track now, right? That's it. I want to play. I want to play like the last track right now because it's so true. It's like a nigga coming of age. I was just gonna say that would have been. That's a great intro right there, and then we get the first episode. So we need to see what what you're starting with. 2015, 2016, 2016. So 2015 actually. That was the intro of your mixtape right there. You that breakdown of what the hell they're gonna about to. And yo, dead ass. Though. I resonated <laughs> so much. Dead ass. That's gonna make you feel like you that fucking nigga. So the thing is, though, right? That's the ultimate feeling that we're chasing as young men. We all want to feel like that nigga at one time right. in our life. We want to feel accomplished, like we are worthwhile, so like we something, right? right? You know the best way to do that, right? So not that was in the what's book, but the best way to do that is to do what you say. Because the older you get, the more you realize and learn that people don't do what they say. Right. And you start to lose respect for people throughout life because people talk a lot. Right. And the ultimate way to bow, bow, bow is to walk and know that you are a man of your word because your word is your bond. That's all we got. That's the G code I was talking about in the introduction. Right? Niggas is losing the G code, like the insight. You know what I'm saying? As a man, you, like the Chino said, all I got is my word and my bowls, and I won't break them for no one. And you, you know, in a sense, you know, in a 2022 version of the word, the G code is the G code. It's not the same, but you gotta, you know, you gotta learn how to do what you say because we all say a lot, but we don't have not learned how to do that. So then we just end up looking like talkers. Mm -hmm. And one of the easiest things that it is to do is to talk. You can do it right when you come out of the womb. You know, like. A baby could tell me that they are going to do X, Y, Z. A two-year-old or a three-year-old could tell me that they're going to do something, you know, and so can a 30-year-old. The difference is who, you know, the difference is who does it. So that's, if you want to really like have a good life as a man, then you got to learn how to be about your word. Mm -hmm. And the way that you learn to be about your word is to, you know, see, I'm not sitting here claiming to have all the answers neither. It's not like it's all put together, mm -hmm. but I think seeking a relationship with God will help you in that journey of staying true. So, yeah, I think, you know, hip hop in these moments where niggas is really balling on the entertainment wave, on the, the uh, athletic wave, you know, living the life that we all want to live, like, you know, and then we all feel like there's those are the only ways. No, nah, it's actually the lesser of the ways. You have to learn how to win in the economy. You know, you have to learn how to make, like, that's the real game, the ultimate sport of business. This is the most widely accessible and available game for everyone to participate in. And in particular, if you want the cheat code, then I suggest you look into clean energy, energy efficiency, and the multiple, you know, what you know, sectors within that, because that's where the money is going to be made in the future. And that's where we are. So if you want to just, you know, fast track your way to learning how to really make money, then you need to look into things with clean energy. If you have a real interest level, then hit me correctly, you know, on an email, show your interest, not on some, oh, hey, Rashawn, you know, like, what's the end? What's the answer to like, you know, read my journal entries, go read the real raw truth about money, go study the journey, go study the process and hit me like, yo, damn, 
you know, with well thought out what to cause because I'm not one to like be just like I see that on YouTube. But everyone's like, hey, 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 like asking things that they can do, do the on their own. Do the research. So what that means is that you're not ready yet because, you know, the ones that are ready don't have to be told the path. It's they intuitively start to walk. So that's the thing. You can't be asking anymore. If you get inspired, if you feel the message, learn the lessons and go down your journey and connect only if, you know, we're so not going to elongate it. But the ultimate gangster is to be yourself and win in the ultimate game of business. If you want to do so, look into clean energy. If you really want to know where to start, you could come, you know, train yourself to be a great salesman and a great offer of services or come already like that and offer your services to New World Energy the fucking leading clean energy company here in the tri-state because that's what we about to do and we could use all the top g's that's out there but if you ain't ready and on that level yet to be a star war then go down your journey and you feel me right. to become a jedi so that's the thing so yeah that's really the intro to reflection you know and yeah i know it hit different but like you should hear the journal entries hit different <laughs> those hit different. hit different the way we're trying to deliver it hits different the journal entries I want to resonate with you. I want you to first see all my faults and my, my, I want you to see all my valleys. I want you to see all the hard times so that you can relate to my story because my story is just your story told a different way. And, you know, that's my ultimate goal is to be as resonant as possible. Rappers are able to do that because they're just gangster and they, and they get paid for being gangster in the corporate world in the entrepreneurial world. You kind of sometimes act a certain way but now you don't really have to all you need to do is learn to be a man of your word provide value if you say you're going to do something for someone then do it don't promise what you can't deliver because if you do that you ain't going to make it in business anyway learn to be a man of your word pro you know become valuable provide value and then you could live pridefully as who you are listen to who you want to listen to yeah you feel me like word <clears throat> gangsters come in all different colors shape and sizes you feel me? Real gangsters is niggas that do what they say. Your girl, right? Your sexy ass girlfriend will fuck someone that's ugly, you know, not their type and kind of doofy if the motherfucker is, has a track record of being a man of his word. If your silly ass always talking about some shit, because that's what's really attractive. You know, it's hard to do what you say. It is. That's why everybody wants to be in shape. Everyone says they want to be in shape, right? I tend to want to be, well, I, I want to be in shape, but I tend not to say it because until I'm ready to actually get in shape, I'm not going to say it because I know that, like, I don't even do it to myself. Some niggas just do it to themselves before they know they're ready to take the journey. So then you look like a fool. You feel me? Just embrace who you are. And when you're ready for a stage in your journey, then you'll be ready. And then, you know, but don't talk about it prematurely because it makes you look like a fool to other learned people. Mm -hmm. They know every, you know, word, like just word. It's so hard. What would you say to people who who know they want to do something, but for some reason can't make that switch? Are they just not ready? Or what's going on? I would say first to just get for more, a bit more familiar with the story of the creator's journey and go through that process to see where I was when I was in your shoes. Unsure of myself, thinking the same thoughts that you just asked me right now, because yeah. I had... That's where I came from and get to learn that character and, you know, think about where he was. Mine was that you could even, I'm going to make public my 2014 ones. Those are real embarrassing. I'm talking about just fucking girls selling drugs. Damn. Like this is my whole journey. So at that, that one, I'm like, it's still lit, but it's like a young lit. Right, right. But I'll even share that bit. because, you know, to I want to be as resonant as possible. My ultimate target to, to target demographic, to speak to, to help, you know, inspire them to, expedite their uh their you know speed to their creatorship because ultimately the lesson and the the uh, message that i'm receiving is that creators need to step up and step up quick this is what the creator's journey is about i'm trying to speak to those who are now who have come into existence at this very point to act on this thing that is being kind of like happening there are people out there that are incarnated for this and we're here for a reason. It was like to be ready when the war came. And now the war is here. And this is like the war call, like, yo, the creator's journey. And ultimately, when more of us step into who we are, which is all the same thing, which is the top G, 
Okay, don't forget it. Don't be enthusiastic or don't be enthused by anyone here that they call the top G. The top G named himself G. Okay, that's the most top gangster shit you could do, nigga. Call me G. You could just add an OD at the end because it's OD, nigga. I'm G to the OD. I'm ODG, nigga. ODG. <laughs> right? Like y'all niggas is top G. I'm ODG squared, nigga. Around you, above you, and inside of you, you. Word. So, um, yeah, you know, God, uh, once you go on your creator's journey, then you unlock the, there's a, something that happens, right? You Mentally, where like you unlock, when you get to a certain place of knowing who you are, then you unlock this like set of this set of the sequential set of situations where then God can come in into you, right? And then use you and act. Like this, but it only happens. It's like you have to be as mentally fit as possible. Like the ultimate, you know, one percent or two percent of people physically. Like you have to get there mentally, and that's just you have to convince yourself that that's real, and you have to know that you are God. And it takes a long time to get to that belief. But once you get there, then God, because once you believe that God can act through you, then He can. And it starts to trickle in. Like this is the thing you have to just like in the most metaphorical movie out there the end of the movie was when neo remembered that you are the one and it took a whole movie for the nigga to get it though he was about to die and then on his dying he remembered and then he achieved the upper you know and that's kind of what happens when you realize oh shit god made this whole thing i'm in and then to experience it he actually put himself in me and made himself forget that he was me and told me to travel my journey, but you'll always find your way home because home was always the prize. Back home was always the prize, right? And we could just end this shit right here and just yeah. keep it straight, trill and G and fucking, you know, end it with a quick verse, you know, stop playing, really, you know, but the ultimate thing is not with me. Stop playing with your motherfucking self. Playing with yourself, playing with yourself, like this shit is gay. <clears throat> my death was my resurrection. When the soul is divine perfection, reflections, uh -huh. okay. Because I rose through the imperfection to learn, to learn that I'm a lesson. Let's go again. Time. I'm okay. Um, Cause I rose through the imperfection to grow to learn that I'm a blessing, and that was the final lesson. Congrats, Rob.